Hello, I'm Beth Wagner, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Today I'm excited to bring you part two of my series on rib pain and costochondritis. This video is a follow-up to the first video that I produced on that topic. The exercises in this video will progress and build on those initial exercises to decrease rib pain and restore the ability to take a full deep breath. You'll find the link to that initial video in the description below. Costochondritis refers to inflammation in the cartilage of the rib cage where it attaches to the sternum. I'll include um, an anatomy picture here in the video so that you can see where I'm talking about. Now rib pain might be felt anywhere along the rib cage from the front all the way around to the back. Pain in the rib cage can be referred or can radiate out from where it originates. So often if there is inflammation in the front of the rib cage where it attaches to the sternum, pain can, can radiate along the edges of the ribs all the way to the side and even to the back of the ribs. Pain in the chest wall can also be caused by a heart attack and other serious conditions. So be sure to talk with your doctor before you begin this exercise program, just to be sure there isn't anything else going on that needs immediate medical attention. All right, in the first video that I posted, I introduced gentle range of motion exercises in multiple directions in order to begin to decrease the sensitivity in the rib cage, to improve motion, and to restore the ability to take that full deep breath. In this video, we're going to expand on those exercises. So the first thing we'll do is a quick posture correction. Then we'll do some diaphragmatic breathing, and then I'll show you three excellent progressions of exercises. Okay, let's start with a quick postural correction, and then we'll move into the diaphragmatic breathing. So starting at the base, at your pelvis, make sure that your weight is evenly distributed between the left side and the right side. Also be sure that you're right in the middle, that your hips are not too far forward or slouched too far back but that you're resting right in the middle. Make sure to maintain a small amount of natural arch in your low back, and then moving up the spine, lift your chest and relax the shoulder blades down and back. Finally, do a little bit of a chin tuck, just a small cervical retraction, pulling your chin straight back. For the diaphragmatic breathing, place one hand on your belly and the other hand on your chest. Now I need to place my hand pretty high so that I don't interrupt the microphone but a great placement for this upper hand is right through the top of your chest. Now take about five breaths, noticing the movement of your hands as your lungs inflate and deflate. Oftentimes with rib pain, with costochondritis, the movement of the lungs is affected. And you may be breathing more through the top part of your neck to avoid the rib pain, Less often, but it can still happen, that you may be in belly breathing, inflating only through the bottom part of your ribs to avoid pain in the upper ribs. At this point in time, you don't have to worry about changing anything. Just notice where your lungs are inflating. Notice what you feel in terms of movement underneath your hands, as well as any presence of pain. Now do not force your breath. If you're feeling pain, taking a deep breath, Stop just shy of where you start to feel the pain. Okay, after about five breaths with your hand on your chest and your belly, now move your hands to either side of your ribs. Take another five breaths or so. Notice how much the left side and the right side of your ribs expand out to the side as you inhale, and then as you exhale. You might, you might find that one side is inflating more than the other side if your pain is all located on one side of the rib cage. See if that changes naturally just by paying attention to where you feel the breath. Okay, after five breaths, go ahead and relax your hands and just take a couple relaxing, cleansing breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's move on to the three exercises. Now these exercises are meant to build upon the exercises I introduced in the initial video. 
but you might find that you want to continue doing those exercises in addition to these. See what feels best for you. Feel free to mix and match based on what gives you the best relief. The first exercise is a pectoral stretch. Sitting with tall posture with your chest lifted, shoulder blades down and back. Now bring your hands out to the side, your elbows out to the side in the shape of a W. So if I were looking in the mirror, my arms would form the shape of a W. Gently press back with the back of your elbows and the back of your hands, as if you were trying to bring your hands behind you as much as possible. This should still be gentle. It should not cause any increase in pain. Now, with your hands in this position, take a medium breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. See if you can inflate all parts of your lungs as you breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Continue three breaths total in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now we're going to adjust the W. Bring your hands down a little bit, your elbows closer to your side. Again, three more breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Only breathe as deeply as you feel comfortable. You might find that with practice, you'll be able to breathe a little bit deeper. That's just fine. If not, that's okay too. This should be comfortable, especially the first couple of times that you practice this exercise. Okay, and again, in through the nose, out through the mouth, let that tension release. Okay, now bring your W up a little higher, lift your arms. Again, press your arms back as far as you feel comfortable going. You should feel a nice stretch through the front of your chest. You might also feel some muscle activation throughout your arms and shoulder girdle. All right, in, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, blowing out any tension or tightness that you feel throughout the chest, arms, and shoulder blades, and entire rib cage. Again, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. One more breath, in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Now, if you can, try one more position of this W, lifting your hands even a little bit higher. If this is too much for you today, that's just fine. Just lower your arms, shake it out, and rest. But if you're able to lift your arms a little higher, let's do one more set. In through the nose, out through the mouth as you press back. Good, in through the nose, and exhale, press your elbows and hands back. Good, one more time. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And relax. Now, if you feel any numbness or tingling as you perform the exercise, lower your hands, shake it out, and try again at another time of the day. Numbness and tingling indicates that there is some kind of pressure on blood vessels or nerves, and we don't want to continue pressing through that type of discomfort. All right, the second two exercises I'll be doing on my hands and my knees. Number two is child's pose. Okay, for child's pose, start on your hands and knees with your hands directly below your shoulders, your knees directly below your hips. Now rest down onto your heels and reach forward with your hands as far as you feel comfortable going. Also, if this is uncomfortable with your hips, you can spread your knees a little bit so that you're able to sink back more comfortably between your knees. Either way is just fine. Crawl your fingers forward as far as you feel comfortable. And if you can, go ahead and rest your elbows down on the surface and then rest your forehead. Now in this position, whether your forehead is up or lowered onto the table, or whether your elbows are up or down, whatever variation is most comfortable for you, then take five deep breaths. So in through the nose, expanding your lungs as much as you can, and then exhale. Blow all the tension and tightness out 
And now inhale again. And exhale. Good. Inhale through the nose. Pause and then exhale. Blow all that tension and tightness out. Good. Pause and inhale. Through the nose, expanding the lungs, and then exhale. Great. Now, after five repetitions with your hands straight forward, now crawl your fingers over to the right side as far as you can as far as it's still comfortable. Again, no sharp shooting, stabbing pain with these. Let your elbows rest if you can. Let your forehead rest if you can. And then another five breaths. Inhale through the nose. Fill your lungs and exhale. Blow out any tension or tightness. And again, inhale. Pause at the top of your breath. Exhale, blow all the tightness and tension out. When your arms are over to the right, you'll likely feel more of a stretch and more inflation in your lungs through the left side of your ribs, through the left side of your trunk. And that's normal. This should feel comfortable. Only go as far as you can, especially when you're first starting this exercise. Okay, after five breaths, crawl your fingers over to the center and take one breath here, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay, now let's crawl over to the left side. Again, as far as you feel comfortable going, let your elbows relax, let your forehead relax. Okay, now breathe in through the nose and pause at the top and exhale. Blow all that tension and tightness out. Inhale through the nose. Fill the lungs. And then exhale, blow all that out. Continue inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Now with your arms over to the left side, you'll likely feel more expansion, more openness, and a bit of a stretch along the right side of your ribs and your trunk, and that's normal. So this is helping to open that right side of the rib cage. After five repetitions, go ahead and go back to the center again. And let's do one final breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay, and take your time. Crawl your fingers, your hands back up toward the center and then come up back up onto your knees and square your position off so your hands are under your shoulders, knees are underneath your hips again. The last exercise is trunk rotation. We'll start in the same position on our hands and knees. All right, reach your right hand up to the back of your head. If that is uncomfortable for you to reach, you can also put your hand just on the side of your cheek, on your ear, or even at the, on the top of your shoulder, wherever you feel comfortable based on your range of motion, lifting that right hand. Okay, so with your hand, wherever it's comfortable, your elbow pointed down for toward the floor. Now, inhale to prepare for the movement through the nose. As you exhale, lift your elbow up toward the sky and turn your trunk. Good, inhale, come back down. Exhale, lift the elbow up. Let your head turn just naturally. And come back down as you inhale. And the next exhale, lift your elbow, let your head turn naturally to the side, pause, and then bring the elbow back down. Continue matching your breath with the movement if that's comfortable for you. Otherwise, just breathe naturally. The whole point of being aware of your breath is to be sure that you're not holding your breath. So you can try different breathing patterns and see what works best for you. Okay, perform 10 repetitions on this side, after 10 repetitions, go ahead and bring your right hand down and we'll do the same thing on the left side. Bring the left hand up to the back of the neck and inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift the left elbow toward the sky and turn your head naturally to the left and then lower on an inhale. Exhale, lift and turn your head. Pause, 
Inhale, come back down. Exhale, lift your elbow, turn your head. Inhale, come back down. With each repetition, notice where you feel your lungs filling up. Is it more toward the, your neck, the upper part of your chest, or is it more in your belly? Do you feel it more through the front of your chest or more through the back of your chest? More on the left side or more on the right side? With each repetition, take as full of a breath as you feel comfortable. Don't force it, don't take a forceful breath, and don't push through any pain. With repetition, with practice, this will become easier and more comfortable for you, and you'll likely be able to take a deeper breath. Perform 10 repetitions on the left side, and then relax. Okay, once you've finished the exercises, Go ahead and sit in any comfortable position and take five more breaths using the diaphragmatic breathing technique that I introduced at the beginning of this video. So place one hand on your belly and the other hand on your chest. Close your eyes and take five breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And just notice with those breaths where you feel your hand moving. Has anything changed as a result of doing these exercises? Do you feel a change in the movement of your breath, in any pain or discomfort that you might be feeling anywhere in your ribs or throughout your trunk? So continue the breaths, breathing in through the nose and out through your mouth. Okay, after five breaths with your hand on your belly and your chest, then go ahead and move your hands to the ribs again. And take five more breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth with your eyes gently closed so that you can really focus the attention on where you feel your lungs inhaling underneath your hands. In through the nose. Feel the lungs expand, stretch to the side, and then out through the mouth. Continue in through the nose, and out through the mouth. Each time you practice these exercises, start with five breaths with the hands here, and five breaths with the hands here. Just notice what changes you find in, during each session and from day to day. Notice if your pain changes as your breath pattern changes. We have more power to change things in our body than we think we do. And oftentimes, just by bringing awareness and noticing what is happening with our breath, we're able to fine tune adjustments to help our bodies restore the normal ability to do what they know how to do. You might also benefit from checking out my other breathing exercise videos. Click the link in the description down below to see the entire playlist of videos that I've posted focused on breathing exercises and involving other arm and spinal movements. All of those exercises could be very helpful for you as a supplemental exercise program to the exercises that I've shared with you in this video. I hope you found these exercises to reduce rib pain and costochondritis helpful for you. With daily practice of these exercises, I hope that you'll be able to get back to doing the things that you love to do every single day to the best of your ability. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm able. Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. Have a fantastic day.